All right, thanks, guys. The Sixers take on the Pistons. 7 o'clock Eastern tip-off in Detroit. The Sixers open the betting as the two-point favorite in the total at 220 and a half. Since those markets open this one up, we're seeing significant movement toward the Sixers. We're also seeing significant movement downward on the total. Right now, Philadelphia is minus three and a half with the total moving downward to 217. Once again, Sixers open two, now three and a half. Total open 220 and a half down to 217. Detroit's plus 147. Phillies minus 155. Now the Sixers are just 11 and 15 against the spread overall for the year. They failed to cover in nine out of their 12 games away from home. This Philly defense is allowing 117 points per contest. They're also 0-4 covering as the official road favorite. Now Detroit on the other side of things, they're 7-4 against the spread when catching the points. They're also covering 60% of their games at the current point spread. This Detroit defense is allowing just 108 points per contest. Their opponents are also shooting just 31% from the three-point line. Now, Detroit is just 6-7 and seven to the over in their games at home. Meanwhile, Philly 0-4 to the over in their last four. So with all that said and done, I'm going to lean toward the home dog in this one. Give me Detroit plus four after buying the hook and the under 217 in that one. And before we get into some more games, I just want to quickly take a time out and welcome you to the show. I got some lines and personal leans out for NBA uh, this Friday night. Uh, it's Friday. Happy Friday to you. The weekend is already here. Uh, but before we get into some more action, I just want to quickly remind you to check me out at patreon.com slash Brock Page. And with a documented win percentage of 60% for the entire year of 2017, you're certainly uh, costing yourself some valuable information each and every day you're not subscribed. Now, memberships begin at just $1.99 per month. There's also plenty of free content there as well. So, once again, please feel free to hit that pause button right now. Open up your browser. All you got to do is type in patreon.com slash Brock Page. it only take a few seconds. Link is in the description section below. And if you are a current patron of mine and you're currently watching me right now, I simply cannot thank you enough. You most certainly make it all worth it. And with all that said and done, let's go ahead and slide back into some more lines of personal leans for Friday's NBA action. Happy Friday once again. I am so happy the weekend is here. All starts Eastern Standard Time. And on deck, we've got Pacers Magic's uh, 7 o'clock tip-off. Orlando opened the betting as the one-point favorite with the total at 206.5. And, and since those markets opened this one up, we've seen Orlando take a little bit of money in the early going here. No movement on the total as of yet. Orlando is now minus two with the total remaining at 206 and a hook. Once again, the Magic opened minus one up to minus two. Total opened and remains at 206 and a hook. 61% of the consensus is leaning toward Orlando. 74% of the consensus is shaded toward the over. Uh, Indiana is plus 120. Orlando minus 130. Now, the Magic are just six and seven against the spread on their home court. They're covering just 33% of their ball games as the official home favorite. This Orlando offense is putting up just 106 points per contest. Their defense is allowing 111 points per contest at home. Now this Indiana defense, they're allowing just 102 points per contest. Their opponents are shooting just 44% from the field. Indiana's also 3-2 and two straight up in their last five. 5-0 five and oh against the spread in their last five in Orlando. Now total-wise... We're looking at 7-6 to the over for Indiana in their games away from home this season. Meanwhile, on the Orlando side of things, they're 3-2 to the over in their last five. So with all that said and done, I'm going to take a road dog in this one. Give me Indiana plus two in the over, 2.06.5 in that one. Next game, Nuggets, Hornets. <clears throat> 7 o'clock tip-off in Charlotte. Denver opened the betting as the one-point favorite in the total at 2.18. Since those markets opened this one up, not a whole lot of movement on both the spread and the total. We actually saw just a little bit of movement upward on the total. But once again, Denver opened and remains the one-point favorite. Total opened 218, up to 218 and a half. 66% are leaning Denver, 75% shaded toward the over. Charlotte is plus 102, Denver is minus 112. Denver is 15-9 and nine against the spread overall for the year. Very good covering team. They're also covering 60% of their ball games. At the current point spread, this Denver offense is putting up 111 points per contest. 
They're also shooting 47% from the field. And most importantly, the Nuggets are 7-0 against the spread in their last seven straight. Now on the Charlotte side of things, completely different story there. They failed to cover in their last three straight. Their defense is allowing 111 points per contest. Charlotte's 3-2 to the under in their last five. Denver's 5-0 to the under in their games at the current posted total. So with all that said and done, I'm going to take the road fave in this one. Give me Denver minus one and the under 218.5 in that one. Next game, Raptors, Nets, 730 tip-off in Brooklyn. The Raptors open the betting as the nine-point favorite, total at 225. <clears throat> Excuse me, that is completely wrong. Toronto open minus five, total open 222 and a half. That was 222 and a hook. That's where it opened up at. All right. And since those markets opened this one up, we're seeing a uh, good amount of movement toward the under in this one. Uh, once again, Toronto open and remains the nine point favorite. Toronto open minus nine, remains minus nine. Total open 222 and a hook, down to 221 even. 66% are leaning Toronto, 69% shaded toward the over. Brooklyn's plus 380, Toronto's minus 425. Now this Brooklyn squad is having a real tough time getting the job done at home. They're covering just 30% of their ball games at the Barclays Center. They're also just 4-6 and six against the spread as the official home underdog. This Brooklyn defense is allowing 115 points per contest. Their opponents are also shooting 47% from the field. Now on the other side, completely different story, as Toronto's allowing just 106 points per contest on the road. Their opponents are shooting just 31% from the three-point line. Toronto's 10-2 straight up in their games away from home, 7-5 against the spread in that very same category. Toronto's 3-0 to the under in their last three. Brooklyn's 2-1 to the under in their last three themselves. Both teams are combined for 5-0, <clears throat> excuse me, 5-1 to the under in their last six combined. Uh, collectively. So with all that said and done, I'm going to leave Toronto minus nine and the under 221 in this one. Next game, Kings, Cavaliers, 730 tip off in Cleveland. The Kings opened as the three point favorite with a total at 221 and a half. And since those markets opened this one up, we're seeing a slight fade of Sacramento. We're also seeing movement downward on the total as well. Sacramento is now minus two and a half with the total moving downward to 220. So once again, the Kings open minus three, down to minus two and a half. Total open 221 and a hook, down to 220 even. 66% are leaning Sacramento, 61% shaded toward the over. Uh, Cleveland's plus a buck and a quarter. Sacramento's minus 135. Now Cleveland's had a tough time both in the outright game and against the number. Cleveland's five and seven against the spread on their home court. They are covering just 44% of their ball games as the official home underdog. This Cleveland offense is putting up just 102 points per contest. They've also lost nine out of their last dozen on their home court. Now Sacramento, 15 and eight overall for the, <clears throat> excuse me, 15 and eight against the spread. Overall for the year, they've successfully covered the number in six out of their last seven, taking on sub-500 teams. The Sacramento offense is scoring 119 points per contest. They're also shooting 50% from the field. Now total-wise, Sacramento, 11-1 to the over in their games away from home this season. <laughs> 11 out of their last 12 road games got over the total. They're also 8-1 to the over in their last nine. Meanwhile, on the Cleveland side, two out of their last four got over the number uh, as well. So with all that said and done, I'm going to take Sacramento plus three after buying the half a point in the over, 220 in that one. All right, next game, Grizzlies, Pelicans. Eight o'clock tip-off in New Orleans. The Pels opened minus five with a total at 217. Since those markets opened this one up, we're seeing money on New Orleans. We're seeing money on the over. Right now, the Pels are minus five and a half with the total moving upward to 217 and a hook. Once again, New Orleans opened five, now five and a half. Total open 217, up to 217 and a hook. 60% are leaning New Orleans, 75% shaded toward the over. New Orleans uh, is minus 225 for some money line cash. Memphis plus 205 on the money line themselves. 
Now, Memphis has been very good against the number this season. They're 14-9 ATS overall. They've also successfully covered the number in two out of their last three. Memphis is also giving up just 102 points per contest. Their opponents are shooting just 44% from the field. Now, when, we, when it comes to this New Orleans team, completely different story. They're allowing 116 points per game. Their opponents are shooting 47% from the field. New Orleans is also covering just 42% of their ball games when laying the points. They're 2-4 and four against the spread in their last six at home, taking on Memphis if you're into historical figures. Now, total-wise, we're looking at New Orleans 3-2 and two to the under in their last five. Memphis 4-2 and two to the under in their last six versus New Orleans. So with all that said and done, I'm going to take a road dog in this one. Give me Memphis plus six after buying the hook and the under 217 and a half in this one. And my phone is absolutely blowing up. I apologize for that. I guess I'm a pretty popular guy. Uh, next game, Thunder Bulls, eight o'clock tip off in Chicago. Thunder opened the betting as the eight and a half point favorite and the total at 216 and a half. And since those markets opened this one up, not a whole lot of movement on the spread, although we are seeing movement upward on the total. OKC remains the eight and a half point favorite, but the total moved upward to 218 even. So once again, OKC opened eight and a half, still eight and a half. Total opened 216 and a half, up to 218 even. 66% are leaning OKC, 64% shaded toward the over. Chicago's plus 348, OKC's minus 390. Now, OKC's 14-9 and nine against the spread overall for the year. Very good covering team. They're also 7-4 against the spread in their games away from home. OKC's allowing just 103 points per contest on the road. Their opponents are shooting just 43% from the field in that same category. Now, on the Chicago side of things, complete dumpster fire there. They've also lost their last seven straight. They're 1-11 in their last dozen. They lost 11 out of their last 12 straight up. Now, the Chicago offense, very anemic. They're scoring just 104 points per contest. They're shooting 44% from the field. And uh, the Chicago team lost nine out of their last dozen on their home court. Now, scoring-wise, Chicago 9-3 and three to the under at home. OKC 8-3 and three to the under on the road. So with all that said and done, I'm going to purchase the hook, buy it down, and take OKC minus 8 and the under 218 in that one. Next game, Lakers, Spurs, 830 San Antonio. The Spurs open minus one and a half with the total at 225 and a hook. And since those markets open this one up, we're seeing movement toward the Lakers on the spread. We're seeing movement toward the over on the total. Right now, San Antonio is down the minus one with the total moving upward to 226. So once again, the Spurs open minus one and a half down to minus one. Total open 225 and a hook up to 226. 55% are leaning Lakers, 55% shaded toward the over. The Lakers are plus 102, San Antonio's minus 112. Now, San Antonio has been pretty bad against the number this season. They're just 4-7 and seven against the spread when laying the points. They're also covering just 42% of their ball games as the official home favorite. San Antonio scoring just 108 points per contest on their home court. They've also failed to cover the number in four out of their last five. Now on the Lakers side of things, completely different story there. They're 4-0 straight up in their last four. Four-game winning streak for them there. They're also 7-2 straight up in their last nine ball games. Los Angeles is putting up 113 points per contest. They're shooting 48% from the field. They're also 5-2 ATS in their last seven, taking on San Antonio if you're into historical trends there. Now, scoring-wise, Los Angeles is 8-1 to the under in their last nine. Meanwhile, on the other side, San Antonio, uh, they're allowing just 108 points per contest on their home court. So with all that said and done, I'm going to lean toward another road dog in this one. Give me the Lakers plus one in the under 226 in this one. Next game, Miami, Phoenix, 9 o'clock Phoenix. The Heat opened 6.5, total open 209. Uh, since those markets opened this one up, we're seeing movement toward Miami. No movement on the spread. Right now, the Heat minus 8, total 209. Miami opened 6.5, up to minus 8, total open and remains at 209. 67% are leaning Miami. Phoenix is plus 290, Miami's minus 320. Phoenix just 4 and 21 straight up overall for the year. They're also pretty bad against the number as well. Just 8-17 and 17 against the spread overall for the season as well. 
They only covered eight out of 25 games so far. They catch double digits a lot too. This Phoenix offense is putting up just 102 points per contest. Their defense is allowing 114 points per game as well. Uh, Miami 2-1 and one against the spread in their last three. 4-2 and two ATS in their last six. And scoring wise, Miami 3-0 and oh to the under in their last three. 7-2 to the under in their last nine. Meanwhile, the Suns are 6-2 and two to the under in their last eight themselves. So with all that said and done, give me Miami minus eight in the under 209 in that one. All right, next and final game for the show, it is going to be Warriors Bucks 930 Milwaukee. The Warriors open the betting as the one and a half point underdog in the total at 239 and a hook. And since those markets open this one up, we're seeing significant movement toward Golden State. We're also seeing a little movement upward on the total. Right now, Golden State is at a pick 'em. But the total moving upward to an even 240. So once again, Golden State open plus one and a half, moved up to a pick 'em contest. Total open 239 and a hook up to 240. 62% are leaning Golden State, 61% shaded toward the over. Golden State is plus 103. Milwaukee's minus 113. Now, Milwaukee has two guys that are questionable for tonight. Looks like they might not get in the lineup. I'm talking about Ursan Ilyasova and Chris Middleton, both questionable for tonight's action. Now, Milwaukee, they failed to cover in five out of their last six. They're also just three and eight straight up in their last 11, taking on Golden State if you're into historical trends. Now, Golden State's five and two straight up in their last seven ball games. They're four months straight up in their last five in Milwaukee. Uh, this Golden State offense is also scoring 116 points per contest away from home. They're shooting 50% from the field in that same category. They're also shooting 38% from the three-point line away from home. Now, scoring-wise, Golden State is 9-4 and four to the over in their games on the road. Milwaukee, 15-8 and eight to the over overall for the year. They're 9-5 and five to the over in their games on their home court. So with all that said and done, I'm taking Golden State in the pick'em with the over 240 in this one.